Are we sending it? Am I sending it? Am I sending it? You're not answering me. <laughs> My name is Simone. My name's Keith. My name is Rachel. I think in New York, it feels like there's endless options for dating. Everyone seems to be looking for that next best thing. Kind of feels like you're almost never enough. When I meet somebody that like loves their job, somebody that's like unique in a certain way, I'm just like, wow, and I gravitate towards them. This guy who I have a crush on is my barista at my local coffee shop. We're on a first name basis now, he's very kind. I met this person, ironically enough, at a dating show for something else, and they were just one of the contestants, but like, don't get your hopes up. Like, I've been on a couple dating shows, so it may not be you. We met about a year ago, and we see each other every every few weeks, always with a third party. Just like loving him from afar. I'm not waiting for him to ask me out. Literally the day after the shoot, he followed me. Which for my generation is very much the like, I see you, like, hello. Do you work in the CIA? Like, what's the deal? Like literally how, like he didn't know my name. He didn't know like where, I, like nothing. I'm like out of thin air, like how'd you find me, sir? I'm on the apps, but I don't really use them that much. I like check in, but I feel it's really hard to talk to a stranger. Often the idea is so much bigger in my head than it really is in person. I'm like, wow, I bet we'd have great kids. I wonder if he likes to ski. That's so embarrassing. If anything, it's a funny story. He'll be like, oh yeah, remember when he DM'd me? And if anything, we're just friends. So I'm excited. Okay. I'm grabbing my phone. I'm gonna open Instagram. He has no idea that I'm about to do this. We've never romantically been involved or even like remotely chatted about it. So this is definitely gonna blindside him. I'm not from the South. Like nobody in my family says this, but like the way I greet everybody is like, howdy. Nobody says that. I'm definitely like stalling. I'm definitely stalling. Okay. I'm trying to think of something flirty and cute. On the spot in the moment, nothing is coming to me. So. Howdy. How <laughs> it's so dumb, but like, I don't know what to say. I'm so awkward. But it's like, if you can't have me at my howdy, can you have me at my hey? It feels a little out of nowhere. So my strategy, it's like, oh, I've been thinking about something. Very casual, just a, an idea. I've been thinking about something. Howdy. My name's Keith and my blood type's zero. Maybe some dots, that'll break it up. Drinks feel so intense, but he works at a coffee shop, so that feels silly. We should get coffee, not at your work. I had so much fun. So much is a little excessive. I had much fun. Last time we were together, I had fun. <laughs> I don't know if that's all I say. Last time we were together, I had fun. Don't you get it? No, to get a drink sometime. Get a drink sometime. Take you to get a drink. Like, what are you saying? Now that it's spring, let's have a fling. Want to meet for a drink next week? Nope. Would you like to get a drink sometime? Would you like to get a drink sometime? It feels so wordy. This is so hard. I need to get a poet in here. I feel like this is, I don't know if it's too aggressive or if it's just like, casual enough. It says what I want in the message, but without being like too straightforward. Hi. So I have a thought. We always get to talking while you're working, but we never finish the conversation. That feels like a business. Would you like to get a drink to finish our, our, <laughs> our prior business meeting we had? Hi, been crushing on you recently. Have you thought about us going on a date? Howdy, with like a little hot emoji. Last time we hung out, I had a great time and felt like our conversation was nonstop and so easy. I find so many people to blend in in society, so when I meet an interesting person, I gravitate towards them. I was just wondering what you thought of the night and how you think it went. Hmm, I need like a JK Rowling like personal assistant. It feels like a lot right off the bat to, to just throw the compliments down. You have nice eyes, I love your arms, you have a great smile. It feels very intense. So I feel like we'll save those for a later date. The goal is to be easy breezy, I feel, when asking out somebody. I was just wondering what you thought of the night, how you think it went, and if you ever wanted to go on another date. Is that solid? I don't know. Maybe no period. Honestly, if he says no, it, the rejection will be like, that's fine, he doesn't really know me, but I just won't be able to go to my favorite coffee shop anymore. <laughs> Am I supposed to send it? Are you gonna make me send it? Are you gonna make me send it? Are we sending Should it? Should I send it? I don't want to, I'm supposed to go there tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it. Why not, right? I don't know, they're interesting, and I would just like want to be friends if nothing else happens. So like, I don't want to lose my chance by being weird and like jumping the gun after like meeting a person for one time, you know? I want to change it. <laughs> He's like with other people all the time. So it's like, maybe he's already in a relationship. Like I literally don't know. And that would be so awkward. Okay, we should get a coffee sometime. Not, I'm gonna name the coffee shop at Gossip. And when you're not working. How does that sound? Good? No. My mouth feels like I just ate cat litter. I'm so hot right now. Okay. Definitely maybe sweating a little bit. I'm combusting. Okay. I need some moral support. Okay, I sent it. 
I sent it. I'm gonna, I can't breathe. Okay. Any advice I'd give from this experience, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Worst case scenario, you're exactly where you are right now and you're still single, still searching for love. What if they're like, oh, this kid? This howdy kid? But I just don't know where his mind space is at too. Like, I, I don't know, like one way or another, like what's gonna happen or like how they think things are gonna go. So I just really don't know. Oh, wait, I think he just answered. Hey, yeah, let's do it next week when I'm back in New York. Yes, it worked. Yeah, I'm such a baller. <laughs> Thank you, that's really fucking cool. I'm really excited about this. Now what do I answer? <laughs>